Good day and welcome to our short and simple explanation of how to set up a signature in uh, Microsoft Outlook and more specifically how to set up multiple signatures and toggle between them. So let's get to it. Uh, the first uh, thing you do is click uh, go to your Outlook, click File, uh, go to Options, in Options uh, go to Mail, click the Signatures button and there it is. Now uh, create a new one, uh, doesn't make any difference what you call it, I call this one default because I just always call it default, but you can call it anything you want, as you can see. So there we go. Uh, and then you can put in whatever you would like. Now, I already had this ready, so I've just pasted it in. So if you look at this and think, boy, there's not a lot of options in here, it's just bold and whatever else. Now, all the usual stuff's there. Just highlight the, the portion you care about, right click and select font. And then boom, there's all of the stuff you care about, okay? So uh, the only thing that really doesn't work in here is control A for select all, which is freaking weird, but that's what it is. So if you wanna select uh, content in here, you have to highlight it and then either right click and copy or uh, control C to copy, but whatever works for you. Now, uh, when you've got a new message, uh, you may want to default this to your default <laughs> signature. And uh, here's another one uh, for replies and forwards. I like to have uh, replies and forwards I like to have uh, the signature on everything. Uh, for one thing, it's a bit of advertising, which doesn't hurt. And for another, it frustrates me when people have put uh, emails, in, sorry, put phone numbers in their signature, uh, but don't put that signature in their messages. So when I need to phone somebody, I've got to go look them up my contacts, that's the pain. Now, in my case, you can see, I don't put a phone number in there, but lots of people do. Okay, moving past that, that's just my little quirk. So click OK and OK. And now when I create a new message, Bedingo, there it is. But I said I was gonna show you how to create multiple signatures and how to toggle between them. So let's do that. So let's close this and back to file, options, mail, signatures, and create new again. And I'm gonna call this one um, uh, director. So where this came from was a friend of mine uh, was made a director uh, of a company uh, when he's dealing with clients, uh, but uh, internally he's still just a manager. So, uh, yeah, uh, he wants to have a special signature for when he's outside. So let's go in there. And in here, I could just type whatever I want, right? Like I said, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in that same signature and I'm going to change this just to show you how to, how it's easily done, uh, to director. Oh, joy, right. You can call it whatever you want. And again, just for fun, I will show you how to change that font again. So we'll go to font and we'll go to strike through. How is that? That's a fun one. Actually, let's go to double strike through so it's really hard to see. There we go, because I'm actually not the director of Joy, okay? And um, there we go. So now I click OK and OK. And now when I create a new message, uh, well, it took my default, just like it said. So how do you toggle between them? Well, not very hard, right here. Uh, in the signature on the message uh, tab, uh, you can flip between them and you can see they'll just change. So you also don't have to wait. You can uh, write your message and then change your signature. It'll look smart enough now to to uh, toggle and uh, be happy. So that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye bye.